the guard. One of the, if not the single character that stayed the longest in the D tier. But why does the guard just sucks so much? Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into all of the balance changes that he received, all the buffs, all the nerfs, and to maybe figure out an answer to why is he so bad. Let's go. It all started in 8th of November 2021 when the game entered beta, and the guard was one of the 18 characters that started in the game. Back then, all of the characters had around a third HP and half the damage. Guard, kind of an exception, back then he had 8 HP plus 2 HP for each star and he still dealt 1 damage. His abilities back then were completely different from the ones we have nowadays. Back then he used to have a super that gave him 6 shields for 6 seconds and it costed 6 energy. Damn, that's a lot of 6. His first ability gave him 6 additional shield to the super which made him pretty darn tanky. His second ability doubled his attack speed while the super was active, which was really good to deal a lot of damage. And his third ability would make his super also become a clash. Trust me, he was pretty darn tanky. You might be wondering, how did he perform this first meta? Well, let me tell you, he performed pretty well actually. He, this was probably the second best meta. Skeleton Guard, and you're probably saying in chat, and the Skeleton Guard does not belong here. It does not belong in one of the best, you know, four minis in the game. It just, it just doesn't belong here, but it does. The Guard was one of his best spots in the entire game. He was just great. He did what he was supposed to. He was a very effective tank for only two elixir. Unfortunately for him, it wouldn't stay for that long. In the Christmas time we had a very high damage Barbarian King Archer Queen meta. And let's just say that the guard didn't react very well to that meta. Guard, very situational card. I think the only deck that uses this is an Archer Queen, really just to block miners. For that purpose alone, I gotta put it in the C tier. It's a very good unit, it's a very tanky unit, but right now, currently in the meta, the guard just does not have a place. One of the other main reasons why the guard was so bad, it was also because he was very easily replaced by a giant skeleton who was way much better back then, trust me. Other than that, the guard just simply did not fulfill his fate anymore. He was no longer a decent tank, and we would see his decline naturally happening in the meta a lot more times in this video. 3rd of May, second season is here, and guard entered with the left foot. Unfortunately, the guard was again not a good enough tank, but this time the knight was actually just a better option. We would see this kind of fight between the skelly boy and the knight a lot more often, but everything was about to change with the next patch notes and the guard was on them. 17th of May, the first patch notes where the guard was actually on them, and he would have a very interesting rework. To start off, his HP would be decreased from 8 to 5, very weird. His attack speed would be increased from 0.4 to 0.5. The energy cost would be reduced from 6 to 4. His shield at baseline would be increased from 6 to 7. But to kind of rebalance the shield amount, the first upgrade instead of giving plus 6 shield, it would just give plus 5 shield. This was not good. The guard just simply lacked the HP. The crazy fast cycle of super was just not good enough. At first, people kinda unsure about the rework because healing ranger was everywhere, but soon people realized that he could even be worse than before. How? 12th of May, season 3 is here, and probably with it, the two most toxic metas to ever exist, and the guard had another tiny rework. His HP was increased from 5 to 6, his attack speed was increased from 0.5 to 0.6, his casting time of the super was decreased from 0.8 seconds to 0.4 seconds, the duration of the super was reduced from 6 to 4 seconds. Another unsuccessful rework. He still sucked and he was still replaced by the knight. Unfortunately, he was just not good. But Clash Mini wasn't ready to give up on him yet, so in 14th of July, 
they gave him another real nah, I'm just joking. They increased his HP per upgrade from 2 to 3. And this was actually really, really good. This was with no doubt exactly what the guard needed. This was the single best meta for the guard to ever exist. He finally defeated the knights. Unfortunately, this would not be like this forever. Eventually, time has passed and people just realized that the guard wasn't as good anymore. He was just a way too weak tank. There he had no taunts, he had no stuns. Stuns were the real deal back in the days and the guard just simply had no counterplay against it. He was officially defeated. But Clash Mini with the next patch notes, they would try a different approach. 24th of November, Season 5, Robot Menace, Balance Changes, Gar was on it. Happy day. He had his second ability change from doubling attack speed while Shield was on to the KO that we have nowadays. So he could give Shield to allies when he died, which was really helpful. Besides that, his HP was increased from 6 to 7, and his first ability bonus shield was increased from 5 to 6. But to rebalance it, he had a secret nerf where his base shield was reduced from 7 to 6. Another rework Clash Mini did to the guard, and guess where he is? In the bottom of the D tier. It just feels like whenever the guard starts to fall off, Clash Mini just does a reward that ends up making him even worse. But I have to give him one point, because the main reason why he was so awful, it was because of the bugs that he had. That whenever he gave his shield to someone, that person couldn't charge their super. And with that bug being fixed after 3 months, he finally went to the C tier until he eventually started relaxing again in the D tier with his best friend the knight. I mean, the guard was just simply not good. Even after being awful, all they did was just increasing his HP from 7 to 8, which obviously did not help him. He just felt like undependently of what buffs, of what reworks, of whatever you give to him, it just feels like he eventually will go back to the D tier. What could Clash Mini even do at this point? We are in his third rework. What the hell can Clash Mini do to save the Skelly Boy? Season 7 is here and with that a whole new rework to the guard. This time his super was changed into a 10 shield clash, the first ability was changed from plus 6 shield to plus 5 shield, his third ability was now the KO, his HP was changed from 8 to 15, from plus 3 to plus 7 for each star, his attack speed was reduced from 0.6 to 0.5 but now the shield lasted forever. Now, it seems that he was in the B tier. But this was no ordinary B tier, he was actually a S tier with the Grand War. Outside of Grand War Index, he was honestly pretty darn mediocre. So what this means, pretty much Grand War didn't save the guard from the D tier for an entire season pretty much, because of their very broken synergy. The Warden back then he only gave a clash of shield, it was not a super. So the guard, because he did need his clash, the Grand Warden clash, in order to get shield, he was very helpful for the entire team. And Clash Mini noticed that. And what did they do? They freaking nerfed the cards! Why? He very quickly went to the C tier and eventually back into the D tier, receiving no more buffs. This is it, the end of the guard. So sad. Psych! No, he received one last nerf. Because the clash order is now based on the sets, his clash time, or delay, whatever you want to call it, it was changed from 0.4 seconds to a whole second. So now he takes double the time to pull out the clash. What does that mean? Well, his clash can now be so easily interrupted by Prince, Fisherman, Dark Prince, he can be interrupted by almost anything. The poor guy. And now yes, for real, no more balance changes to the guard, this is his entire history.
he didn't receive any f buff or any other rework and honestly i have my doubts that he might even receive any of that because we are in a very pay to win meta right now if it depended off me i would probably just straight up double his shield because even the knight can get more shield than the guard. His clash can be interrupted. He has little to no HP. Honestly, he just needs any buff. I don't even care. Just buff him somehow. I am not worried about any rework or anything else. I just gently want to see the guard outside of the D2. I have my doubts that they will do anything, but this is it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video.